If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Low House on the Road subscribers and followers. Be sure to uh, subscribe. And uh, click like if you like this video. So I have been getting more and more questions. The more subscribers we get, the more questions we get. And uh, I, you know, I find this really fascinating that people are actually interested in what I'm doing. So uh, I want to make sure that I answer everybody's questions in a timely fashion. Uh, I had a question today from Cheryl C. I won't use the last name. Um, I don't know the legalities on that. So Cheryl C, if you know who you are, you know you've asked this question. And she actually asked three questions, which I'm not going to give you all three questions. I'm only going to talk about the one. Um, and she said, I would love to see more about how much money you spend traveling. It's a good question. We've only been at this for four weeks. And this first trip, uh, for lack of a better definition, was, I think, the best way to put it is our trial run. Wanted to see, you know, what really did we need to do? Were we prepared? Was this something that we wanted to do? Um, so we, we traveled a lot. Uh, we are not going to travel that much, uh, that quickly again. Um, most sites will allow you to stay 14 days. The most we stayed in this, uh, this trip was five. So the longer we stay, the less money we're going to spend each month. Um, so, you know, we, we, and we did a lot of sightseeing this time also. Went to the uh, ocean three times. Went to the east coast first. Then went to the west coast and then we made a special trip and stopped at the west coast again so it took us out of our way so to uh to go through the list i have my computer here i'm going to read from we ate out uh, twice um i don't know uh, we were traveling didn't feel like stopping getting in the camper getting uh, either the hot dogs or, or peanut butter or whatever it was so we ate out twice Words. I mean, what we, we ended up spending $32 eating out. The rest of the um, food we bought was from, was from stores. We've learned some lessons on that. Uh, don't wait until you get to some uh, small town. Usually they have a, uh, you know, a grocery store, but they're overpriced. You know, Walmart would be an option. But Carolyn down in Florida, she found a uh, save lock. She has an app. I don't know the name of the app, um, but she found a save a lot. And we saved quite a bit of money there. You know, just buying groceries, we spent $85 and another $32 on, uh, on uh, going out to eat. Came up to uh, $119, bucks, $120. Bucks. Now, remember, when we were working, we had to go out to eat a lot more. There was no time to cook. Plus we had to shop on the weekends for our lunches. So when we were working, we were spending about $225 on food because we'd have to eat out a lot more. Because you know we were working 67 hours a week, 60 or 70 hours a week. Um, so there was no time to cook. Okay, the next big uh, expense was the uh, was gas. We spent $15 in gas for the generator. Um, if you think about that, that's all our electric. 15 bucks for our electric bill. Um, on average, when we were staying at the house, we were spending uh, about about $65, $70, depending on the season. Um, now, $330 in gas for the truck. I want to be clear on this. We, we drove 2,800 miles. Went to Florida and back. And we also took three trips to the coast that were out of our way. So we sightseed also, you know, went to all the sites. Um, so that gas bill is huge. I would say that when we actually start selling down to 14 days at a campsite, you know, we're going to knock that cost way, way down. Uh, you know, I would guess 100 bucks a month. And then finally we had our bills. Now I'm not going to talk about insurance. You all know what your insurance costs. 
Uh, we know what our insurance costs, so I'm just not going to get into it. Add your own insurance into this. But the bills that we will have to, to incur monthly minus the insurance is uh, our phone bill, cell phone bill, which also has data. Uh, $9, $10 for Netflix. And then finally, OnStar. We use OnStar for our data. We, we have two data services, one for uh, T-Mobile, one for AT&T. Our OnStar is AT&T, so that's $20. Um, so that comes to a, a total of 73 bucks. So, um, now all these are rounded numbers. So roughly we're spending $555, $556 a month on this trip. Again, I really think we're going to be able to knock some of that money off. Uh, one, we're not going to eat out. So, you know, we're going to be able to knock so off. So we'll probably knock off, you know, 30 bucks by not eating out. Um, you know, knock off another $150 for gas, let's say, $120. So here we are, we're going to be down around $400 a month on our bills, our expenses, our food. Um, now, to compare, let's say that's $400. Um, again, no insurance involved on this. We were spending $2,000 a month on uh, on our bills at the house. And we were never home. We were always at work. $2,000 on bills, and we never was home. So, you do the math. This is going to be a, a really nice life experience. Now, $400. You know, I'm really ruffling this up and uh, I'm, I'm making up some, some, I'm making some assumptions here. But let's just say $700 a month. That's reasonable to believe. We're still well under half of where we were before. So there is a huge savings in doing this. And we're getting to see the world. Uh, very exciting. Uh, so anyway, I hope that answers the question for this week. This, uh, this video on uh, expenses for this trip. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope I answered some questions. And we'll talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.